good friend of mine asked me to show how I did the uh, carousal. Carousal without a line of code and without any plugin or any JavaScript. My whole goal was to make a carousal without having to create any JavaScript or HTML code, just pure using just pure responsive engine that bubble is providing. And here is the example. It took me about conservatively, I will say a day to build this it took me about three, four days to uh, publish the template, but Carousal, I saw that on a, one of the Figma designs and it intrigued me. I was like looking for a plugin, if there is any Carousal plugin out there and some of them are very good, they are paid. One, but as Bubble claims and Bubble, I have been using Bubble for quite some time and I took that challenge to build a Carousal without having to code at all because their responsive engine is pretty solid. I have used it and you can see the results. So I'm going to uh, show you how I built it. So this is a vendor page. This is the home page. So I took the color theme, tweaked it a little bit and uh, made it into this uh, cupcake. Now, now cupcake has nothing to do with it, but it just to, to the pictures look good. They're colorful pictures, so I, so I use the cupcakes. Now, the way I brought the pictures in, I'm using Bing in the background to search the cupcakes in the background and bring uh, the vendors and the cupcakes. So now you can see this is a type, this is a carousal. Um, it's a, this is, I think this is what it's called, carousal. It's a slideshow carousal, whatever it is. And, uh, Originally, I built it with a button, so you can have a button forward and backwards. Then it didn't make any sense to have a forward and backward when I can click on naturally what I will do. I look at the cupcake and, oh, I want that, or oh, I want to eat that, uh, so so on. So you can go back and forth like this. Now, there is a limitation, as you can see. You can't, you cannot say uh, you, know, you can have, like, n number of uh, cupcake n number of uh, uh, cards like this one two three four five only five cards and that's pretty much it so when i looked at it it's uh it was uh, pretty easy when i kept looking at it for 15 minutes I, I realized that it's pretty easy to make it with bubble because there are a couple of things that i use there are three functions that Bubble automatically gives you out of the box. And um, those those features made it, really made it. So it looks very colorful, sorry. <laughs> uh, so I will show you how I did it. So I, first I have this canvas here. So I'm not gonna create it from scratch. It take It took quite some time to get it right meticulously how to go through uh maybe the, maybe there are other ways you can you can tell me um i made a mistake either if there is other way to do it let me know and uh i'll try to do it that way and see if it saves any time so uh what i did is i use all these groups so first i created this this card with a group simply no even before that i created this page a group main i called it group main so on the on the page i set the page as column full width 1900 because of the my screen and google uh, group main is the name i gave and but i did do this uh for some reason i put a maximum width on it i could have just left it open but then my friend of mine has a like a three screen wide screen and it just goes all the way to the right uh one mile over there so for him i did this 1900 as a maximum so this is the 1900 1900 um, maximum width screen that's one then then within the this main group what i did is i put a 
this top top group this now you can see now all my designs are based all all group i think group is the only thing that in bubble matters and you can pretty much morph any um into any component i could be using wrong words here but you get the point so group top group i created this as a row now row and align container as centered but i did the width is 1400 this is very important because i wanted to put the screen right here in the center and not go have a space in between here so i can it looks like this uh, so it's right in the center this is your main uh, showcase so for that i did that you can put this this but there is no width now you can see that minimum width uh, i'm setting everywhere is 200. i'll show you why because of the google uh, there is a still galaxy uh, fold fold phones are out there so 200 is here so 200 you'll see all all this minimum 200 and maximum there is nothing that fit to content because of the text i don't know why i did that but okay going back to the main meet here this is a group i created a simple group but i did as a column but now you can see the reveal page and you will see there is a top top group i created this top group now why why you will see like you will ask like why this is the main canvas the main where the showcase is running and then there is another one and you'll see that's it's the size of the same um this is the same like 320 i could have done 200 but 320 uh side this is the tile i built now these tiles behind here are also part of that but you will see why this has to be a fix a minimum 320 and then everything is contained within it so that's that's how i did it then you have a carousal actual carousal here now this is an invisible carousal what i'm doing is see these two for, for the picture and for this for the vendor so you'll see that these are like a behind the scene behind there in the background but that's where my data is coming from so you what i did is i didn't want to query database over and over though there is a caching I'm, i believe bubble has a caching but i created a carousal this is where you will control your images so it's simple as that so you control this um, rg repeating group where the images are coming and then you paint them in these individual groups these are nothing but simple squares so I've created the top one now you can see what is it showing that she's showing the carousal list of search images which is that all the search image whatever you are searching a arbitrary item from that list just to give you just to make it interesting and convert to a number you can see search in arbitrary text which is group carousal play uh, current title i'm doing that arbitrary title and convert to number that's pretty much in the giving it giving it a number basically and you will see that it repeats once you create once you create this one then you can just repeat uh, copy paste copy paste and just keep adjusting the width and the height other thing this solid color i put the background and all that this is where the important part is rest is like you can you can build any any copy paste any um design here there is no limit on that one you can build however you want card you want to build here is the important part and this is where you can suggest something um do it differently that would be awesome because this is where this is where the time went is to capturing for page width 1200 make sure this is the width and this and this look at this one very carefully and this is how i am making it responsive so if you go to this one this one you'll see it 5 550 and 1024 and this 
you'll also see find out that these also have conditions on it so everything is done by the condition and the screen height and width pretty much that in a nutshell there's nothing much going on simple square tile smaller smaller and adjusting the width based on your uh, responsive screen size so it looks something like this I think it looks great is there any code no code completely no code I did not use any plugin or any JavaScript or anything like that so to test it this is how I tested it on uh, all different um, mobiles this is Google's feature I use this is the only way you can use can't afford all of all these uh, devices running that would be crazy so you can you can set it on the responsive here that's that's the last thing I do then and you can just simply go like this tough to uh, do it because some of the screens that they, they, they don't make sense these screens don't make sense you don't have phones like that so there's another way of doing it is simply just go by the list now this is going to happen because the refresh so in order to reload that you have to close the close that screen and open it again oh boy this is this needs to be smaller in this case so let's do that make me make my beautiful screen here smaller so you got this is galaxy note this is how you get it in on a note so you can adjust that but you can see it's the same exact uh, group or the uh, canvas here and it's all uh, responsive so basically here it changes drastically on the kindle fire uh, it's like this on kindle fire you have uh, now it's not rendering right but you get you get the point you get the point absolutely pain and reality of working from home anyone can call and walk in uh, on you and uh, just call so I was showing the responsiveness so this is Kindle fire one of the best thing is the um, our iPhone 4 12 is the one it looks good now you can see back going back and forth you can click on any they, they look they also work pretty well on um, actual phone so Samsung Ultra is there another thing one that you have to check for is air this has a very different layout so now you can see this render very well now I can see the issue here but that can be adjusted <clears throat> mini let's see if it fixes that I think I fixed that issue but it's definitely the height and width of this screen so that needs to be fixed it's still and the duo is the one the problematic one. I mean, I mean it's a very different one 540 it gets very weird so you jump from 540 540 to galaxy like that and so it's pretty much they are all here so that's that so let's go back again this is a detail page it's pretty good so this is uh now how i did it uh in the back background the back end so this this was all the conditional logic that you have but you also have a workflow which is right um click events so all you what i did is this is the right two i called it right one and you have left two and left one so each one has click event and thanks to bubble that they added edit workflow now you used to be add workflow only 
So now you know that there is a workflow there. So I can show you this one, the left two, when you edit, you can see what it's doing. All it's simply doing is setting a state of a group, some group, carousal playlist group, which is I created here. Any group, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can have this group. Uh, you can you can do it in different ways. So, but that group maintains the state of the current group. This playlist current number minus three. It's very pretty much that, and it triggers the carousal. So left click. Now, what is left click? You'll see it's it's repeating. It's very mathematical. The left click does the display data. So it changes the data, number one. So it brings the, converts to the number. See, this is why it's converting to the number. It's bringing its uh, item number. So it, in, on the left-hand side, you have the select item number, right? So it selects whatever the arbitrary uh, text, the current plus one, and it's, basically that so it's current plus one and so on the left then this is the out of the box feature that i'm using animate you can use different kind of animation so that's why it looks like bouncing it and then it sets the current state which is plus one it's fairly simple and the right hand side it just changes the right hand does the uh, again the one it just offsets it by one and up on the left side and the right side it pretty much that's what it is so carousel right does the same thing it just goes in the reverse and these are the events so playlist right is clicked carousel right is clicked a right two you set the position two and the right is click and the left is click it's very simple it's not nothing complex in that it's just anyone with a logical mind can figure that out and but it looks great i, I think i it looks great so it without having to code uh, without having code and without having uh, to buy a plugin or a javascript you know i don't i just don't want to write any script no code should be says no code i mean no knowledge of computer is needed and no knowledge of any language is needed all you need is just the creativity all your mind creativity how it looks and it should be an art fair square so this is pretty much it i'll give you the full rundown these are the vendors i can show you in another video how i'm only bringing the cupcakes and cupcake and uh, their vendors how i'm doing that it's a uh, it's by Bing search. You can search by domain and create your own custom search. The AI is behind it, they say, and it will bring different searches for you. Now I did think of uh, looking at their documentation. I think Bing search is pretty good in a way that you create your own search. So your, your own site gets indexed in a different way, not through the Google, but through, through the Bing. But I'm just making making this uh, thing up. I have not looked at it. You guys are very well versed in the AI and chat GPT and all that. You can correct me. But I believe that Bing search, if you create a search, there is a value uh, in, for ACL. But I'm going to look into that uh, next. This is another layout I can show you. That's what you can do in Bubble, one of the powerful responsiveness of bubble i think bubble is uh it's a great tool it's a great great tool but i just wish they will let me host it on my own not i'm not going to do that but just to check that box it can it will fly it will people will adopt it for a lot more in, in bigger institutions but like I said, I have a very myopic view of uh, development, but I do know that bubble, you can do anything with bubble. So, so much for the cupcakes here. So thank you for watching. And if you have anything else uh, challenging, let me know. I like to take challenges and I would like to uh, 
push the limits of bubble or any tool, not just bubble, any tool out there in the market. Thank you.